Well, welcome to week 12. Hard to believe. Uh, these weeks really keep going by very quickly, don't they? Um, as you can see, we're right in the middle of the research paper, and as I've been looking at your annotated bibs today, many of you have noticed that the way I have this unfolding, it keeps you from procrastinating, and you're actually very appreciative of that, okay? Plus, you're just learning about how to stay organized while you write a research paper, or stay organized while you do any kind of large project, okay? Uh, I already mentioned sort of the concept behind the annotated bib. I know it's not the most exciting thing you've ever done in your life, but I'm enjoying the ones that I've looked at. This is a way for me to check that you're really getting good articles, okay? It's a way for me to reassure you that you're on the right track, and of course, it's a way for you to concentrate on your citing. Uh, I like what I see so far, so I'm quite pleased. Um, moving on, this is the week you're going to be working on your outline and on your thesis statement, all right? And I understand that, you know, you're not... You haven't done all your research yet, even when you do your outline and even when you do your thesis statement. The research process kind of continues uh, right up to the moment you're writing your paper. And even as you write it, you're often doing more research. So I understand that, all right? But I just want to keep you having these uh, mile markers, so to speak, so I can kind of check you off, make sure you're uh, uh, working toward forward in an organized progression. Um, so that said about the thesis statement, you know, we did cover that in Unit 2. Uh, I do have a review here. I just put it in today, so uh, go back to your uh, learning unit, uh, unit three, and take a look at item uh, four. It's called, um, excuse me, item five. It's called Review Thesis Statement Creator. It's kind of cool. It's a little website that I discovered. It helps you create a uh, thesis statement. Uh, it might not create a perfect one, all right, but it kind of shows you the process of creating one. So it's interactive. So I think you'll have a good time with it. It's new. I just put it in there today. It's item five in the unit three, uh, um, uh, unit three learning unit. Also, don't forget in unit two, items three point four and items three point five covered the thesis statement. You had uh, a lecture on writing a thesis statement, and then item three point five was a thesis statement quiz. And by the way, that's meant to be taken with PowerPoint in the actual view mode. Okay, don't do it in the Windows. You know outline mode, do it in the view mode, the actual show mode. And it's kind of fun, okay? It's got some, uh, it's interactive, all right? It just helps you with the concept of a thesis statement. It's a non-graded quiz. So go back to Unit 2, please, and review Item 3.4 in Unit 2, which is writing a thesis statement, and then Item 3.5, which is this interactive quiz. And then don't forget, you can always go to the, if you're struggling with the thesis statement, go to your textbook, go to the index, look up the thesis statement, all right? Indexes are wonderful tools, all right? and reread the material about thesis statement in your textbook. It keeps you from having to reread the entire chapter, all right? In the index, you find exactly what you need. Um, for the outline itself, uh, I'm not expecting a junior high school outline, you know, room number one, item A, blah, 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 but if you want to, I love those. They're very attractive, they're very neat, they really cause you to think and be organized so you can do that. Or if you wanted to, you could list out your main points and then under your main points, list your sub points, okay? Uh, this is, how many page paper is this? Somebody remind me, please. I wish we were in a face-to-face -face classroom so I could remember for sure. Is it uh, five pages? Let's take a look. I've got my notebook here. So in any event, however number of pages it is, okay, yeah, five pages, right? How many paragraphs are there on a uh, page, generally? How many? Three. All right, so if you have a five-page paper, how many paragraphs do you need? Fifteen, all right? So if one of those paragraphs is your introduction and one of those paragraphs is your conclusion, you only need to make 13 points in this research paper. All right, a paragraph equals one point. Now, you may have several points that are the same or they're subpoints. So that's multiple paragraphs. Don't cram all those points in one paragraph. You can have duplicate paragraphs or rather paragraphs that duplicate the same point as long as they're clearly defined from each other. You know, on the one hand, on the other hand, or the first case, and the second case, and the third case. It's all about the same point, perhaps. All right, that's fine. Three different paragraphs. So if it's three subpoints, all about the main point, that's three paragraphs. So I'm saying basically you're going to have 13 paragraphs in this essay, however number of points it takes to, you know, fill up those 13 paragraphs. So, you know, block out your essay. you got your introduction. Just state what your thesis statement is. Then what's your first... A uh, couple of body paragraphs about what are your next couple of body paragraphs about what are your next couple of body paragraphs about and what are your next couple of body paragraphs about and then spend some time throwing in some sub items to help develop your outline so, that, so I can see the detail for those paragraphs. I understand this is a work in process, all right, but I'm trying to cause you a to avoid procrastination, b to think about organization, and c to think you know be thinking constantly about your research paper. By the way, about organization. A paper is always organized along the same lines as the thesis statement. If the thesis statement unfolds and says 
basically we're going to talk about A, B, and C because of E, D, and F. Did I do that right? D, E, and F, sorry. <laughs> I already an English teacher. Okay, we're going to talk about A, B, and C because of D, E, and F. The paper has to unfold in that same fashion. Item A, item B, item C, item D, item B, item F. Okay, so a good thesis statement roadmaps the paper. A good paper reflects the way the thesis statement unfolds. Uh, I think I'm rambling on. So at the end of this week, you will be turning in your outline and thesis statement. I'm looking for plenty of detail. You know, this is a writing class. I like to see plenty of writing. Don't forget the writer's memo. I'm really enjoying those. These are very helpful to me. Then uh, the week right before uh, Thanksgiving, you're going to do the peer review. All right, and I understand peer review is kind of a uh, double-edged sword. I'll talk to you more about that as we get to it. And then you're actually going to turn in your research paper on the 30th. And while I grade those, you're going to be working on your portfolio, which I'll talk to you more. I'll be doing these overviews every week, okay, throughout the rest of the semester. So I'll be keeping you up to date as to exactly what I'm expecting. But make sure you give me a good outline, good thesis statement by the end of the week. You can massage it by the time you finish writing your paper. That's fine. I'm not trying to lock you in stone. And I'm also in the process right now of looking over your annotated bibs. I'll get those done by uh, Wednesday afternoon. Okay, thank you now.